Alright, hey guys, what's going on? It's That Home Theater Dude, got a brand episode for today. Today's video is going to be all about the Emotiva XMC2. This has been my daily driver for the last, jeez, they delivered it back in October. So October to now, over half a year's uh, um, real world experience with it. Do I like it? Do I hate it? Let's go ahead and find out right after the intro. Alright guys, let's go ahead and jump into this. So now the best thing I think that comes out of this one is going to be its audio visual quality. So now the, the, the best thing that I really like is the sound that comes out of this one. 4K pass through, it has no problem doing that. It'll play anything that you throw at it. I was watching Gemini Man on it through my Panasonic UB9000 and the, 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 the picture quality on it was just incredible. Obviously it's not really doing any processing on that front, it's just passing through the ones and zeros, but there wasn't any degrade in performance that I've noticed using this over an AV receiver. On the other front, the sound quality that comes out of this one is just amazing. Look at that. Yeah, that looks good. Like I was talking about, I've been using this as my daily driver you know, since they delivered it, and I took out the RMC one, stuffed this one in its box, and then hooked up all the speakers. Um, or hooked up all the connections to the amplifiers after that and it's, it's it's just been incredible so now like I was talking about using this as my daily driver I you know watch all kinds of TV shows with this I'll blast Bob's Burgers through this thing and I'll listen to music through it as well I'll watch my movies you know basically anything under the sun because this is my home theater which is a home theater slash living room and uh, this is just a space that I use and it's just really 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 nice to enjoy all those channels if you guys think that you don't have a big enough room for 16 channels, you don't have to use all 16 of them, you can use a max up to 16. So if you think 13.1 is good for you or 13.2 or whatever, you guys have the flexibility to use any combination that you want below 16 channels or up to 16 channels. So besides that, I really enjoy the audio, the audio quality that comes out of this one. It is just... They, they always say that you're gonna have a better sound with separates, right? So now, if you guys don't know what separates are, an AV receiver, which is what most of you guys are using anyway, is gonna be like a Denon, Marantz, Yamaha, Onkyo, whatever. So it's basically a processor and amplifier all in one unit, right? So now, separates are gonna be a processor which cannot power your speakers by itself. You have to run connections to amplifiers to run each and every speaker that you want. So if you have you know five speakers, you need to have a five channel amplifier. And if you have, you know, 16, you know, you know just, just it, it goes from there. So now the costs keep going up, obviously. And then over here, it's just one and done. You're done. You buy, you buy once, you cry once. But besides that, um, I really, really enjoy the, the way this one sounds. And most people don't really know what they're getting into, especially, you know, if we're all, we're all penny pinchers, right? Like we, we want to get a good deal. We, all, we, all, we always want to know that we're getting a good deal. So now, is it important to you to you know get something to, to jump into something like this, knowing that you're gonna have to do it DIY, knowing that you're gonna have to install it, you're gonna have to you know install your connections, make sure all those are right, install your amplifiers, make sure all those are right, run all your speaker wires, make sure all those are right. I mean, it's it basically depends on what's important to you. So, okay, so let's talk about some things that I don't like about this unit. So now. Uh, Overall, the, the biggest plague that, I, that I've seen is that uh, there are some functionality issues that aren't necessarily perfect, but I've just you know kind of dealt with them anyways just to have this in, 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 in my space and use it. So now, I mean, none of these are deal breakers. It's just more of a little annoyance than anything. Um, obviously, if, uh, if if they were to be any worse, it would be really, really annoying. But uh, the cool thing is, is Emotiva keeps you know listening to you guys as you guys are giving them feedback on their equipment, which is uh, not very common because you know if you if, if if you gripe to someone that has a product that's overseas, they may or may not help you out getting something um, fixed in in the real time in the real time. So now since these guys are over in Tennessee, they actually listen to, you know, their customers and they tailor their, their software updates, you know, to specifically address those, those things that we're talking about. Okay, so let's talk about another thing I like. I like the value that's included in this unit. So now it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of a weird thing to say because one, the unit's already pretty expensive. It's 3000 bucks and you can't power your speakers with it. So you have to buy amplifiers on top of that. And then you have to connect your preamp, which is your processor to your amplifier. So you have to get cables on top of that. So, and then you have to get all the speakers that you want for all this to, to actually work. So you have to buy them on top of that. So like I'm talking about this, it's, it kind of gets kind of muddy and talking about how this is a value, but let's, let's talk about in terms of 16 channels of performance. You don't have that over here with a, a traditional 13.2 channel um, AVR. So you can't get there from what's consumerly available on the market right now for a relatively cheap price. 
and at the same time, you can't uh, get that unless you're gonna spend a whole lot of money. Okay, so the XMC2, do I like it? I really like it. <laughs> I think it's a great unit. I wouldn't have had it, you know, in, as my daily driver in my house, plugged into my rig for the last, sheesh, I don't even know how long. I got this last year sometime. But I mean, I've had all that experience with it. It's been a really, really um, enjoyable experience. Watch TV with it, watch movies with it, watch whatever with it, and or even play video games. Video games are really cool with this one. Red Dead Redemption, Resident Evil uh, 2 and 3. A lot of that stuff I've been spending a lot of time on, especially lately. Um, but besides that, it's just been a really good unit. There really isn't necessarily anything that I would say that is uh, more of a hindrance than anything. Um, there are those minor annoyances like they don't have Dirac Live, which I've talked to them several times since this unit's been um, delivered. And sadly, I will never be able to um, review this unit with Dirac installed in it. But I will be able to review the RMC1 with Dirac installed in it. So you guys will know about that. One thing I want to make clear is that none of these videos are sponsored, right? I make all my videos the way I see fit. I don't necessarily give companies the um, ability to review my videos before I publish them. So that's, that, that, that's reserved on my end and I will give you guys the most accurate, honest opinions that I have and I won't take payment for you know the stuff that I'm doing. So hopefully I'll be able to, to, to keep true to that from, from now until forever. Well, alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you guys want to buy this one, I'm going to go ahead and leave links down in the description. Obviously, support your local businesses. Um, right now, it's, it really helps out. And even if you click one of those links and you, go, you guys go and buy it, you guys support me and you guys support that company as well. So, big shout out to you guys that are really um, helping out during these times. And also, at the same time, I'm going to be you know continuing to do these videos for you guys, especially in the, the foreseeable future. Got a lot more time on my hands nowadays. So, um, as always, make sure you like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.